start with this illustration because it's absolutely beautiful, showing Arthur dreaming of uh, husky sledging, snow owls and white foxes. That's one of my favourite images from the book. But I'm going to start a little bit later in the book to give you just a flavour of what happens in the story. OK. It was Christmas morning. Arthur woke up first. As he opened the curtains, Arthur was amazed to find the Arctic in his garden. Maybe Christmas wasn't so bad. And bouncing on the crispy white snow was a real polar bear. Arthur pulled on his wellies and raced out. I'll call you Bjorn, Arthur explained as they played together. That means bear in countries that have lots of snow. Then he made sure Bjorn was safe and went inside to tell mum. As weeks passed, Bjorn started to grow bigger, so they moved him into the shed and fed him lots of fish fingers. But as winter faded into the warm spring, Arthur remembered something important. Melting ice was a big problem for polar bears. What about the zoo, mum suggested? That isn't where Bjorn belongs, Arthur shouted. Anyway, I have to keep my promise. And just like that, the season slipped by as mum watched Arthur grow happily alongside his new friend. In spring, Bjorn slept on a bed of frozen peas. In the summer, they filled their bathtub with ice. In the autumn, they borrowed a huge freezer from a shop. But by the time the snow and Christmas returned, Bjorn had grown far too big. And you'll have to read the story to find out what happens at the end with a very, very big polar bear.